Are your agents confusing your clients? If you confuse, you lose. And the answer is yes, your agents are confusing buyers and sellers and it's creating a lot of friction. And that friction is causing the buyers and sellers to not buy and to not sell and certainly not use your team and your company. If you look at business principles, the, some of the best businesses in the last 20 years, number one is Amazon. And what did Amazon do? They looked at reducing the friction of the website. They wanted to reduce the number of clicks, the number of scrolls, the number of steps in the buying process. Think about it. They have your credit card saved in your account. You have a one, a single sign in. You have the app on your phone. Literally, they have a buy now button, a one click button. So if you want to buy something, all you got to do is click one button and it shows up at your door. So how are you reducing the friction from someone searching your website to looking at a home or doing a home valuation and actually getting a home valuation done by your clients or by your agents? How do you reduce the number of steps that the consumer and hoops the consumer has to go through in order to get what they actually want? And see, what's happening is your agents are probably worried that they're going to waste their time. See, they're so worried about themselves, they're not thinking about them. And what's most important is the client is thinking about them and not you. And the agent doesn't want to waste their time. So what do they do? They qualify. They qualify and they overqualify. And as they qualify, they overexplain everything. They go into details that don't matter to the consumer. I'll give you an example. Let's say the consumer is asking you, what does it cost to sell a home? What are all the costs? And they do a deep dive into this net sheet with a spreadsheet of 20 different things and they explain each one of them. They're confusing the heck out of them. When it comes to buying a home, what do I got to do? And then they go through every single step. It's overwhelming. No one would ever want to do that. And that's why they don't buy. It's too much. If you think about like going on vacation, right? I want to go to Hawaii. Okay, great. Well, it's easy if I was like, okay, travel agent, set me up on Hawaii, plane ticket, dates, everything like that. I'll just show up and I'm there. That's easy. I can do that. But if I start thinking about every single step, along the way, I gotta pack my bag, what am I gonna bring, how much are the tickets, when do I leave, like what are the regulations like, where am I gonna stay, it starts becoming overwhelming. How many trips have you thought about going on and then you just kinda of give up on them because of the planning involved? It's just too much. There's just way too much friction, right? So you gotta remove that friction. See, buying and selling a home, it's hundreds of steps and you think you're dazzling them with all of the things you're gonna do for them, but you're really confusing them with all the details. So one of the simplest things that I've learned throughout my career is as I become better at this craft of listing and buying homes is, is just breaking it down to one thing. What is the one thing they need to know right now? What is the one number they need to know? Right, so when it comes to selling your home, I'll give them one big number. What's that one big number? So what do I charge? What does it cost? Here's the one big number, everything. When it comes to buying a home, what's that one big number they need to come to the table with to buy a home? What's that one big number? Not let's talk to the lender and pull your credit and you got an appraisal fee and inspection fees and all this other stuff. Too many hoops, too many hoops. And if you're a team leader or broker owner listening to this, like you wanna hire more agents, you want talented people to join your company, but you have this like so much red tape to interview they have to sign up on your website, they gotta fill out an application, they gotta send you a resume, they gotta interview with you, they gotta take a, a personality test assessment, then they have a second interview, and then they have a third interview, and it takes weeks, you lost them. You lost them, right? So if you wanna bring talent on, you gotta reduce the friction, make it easy, right? So reduce friction, reduce steps, and you'll go a long ways. Have that conversation with your agents. Now, it's kind of counter to like doing the job, being disciplined. I'm not saying the agent shouldn't do all those steps. I'm just saying they need to let the client know that these steps are being taken care of and they don't have to worry about it. And that'll go a long ways. And the more you take off the plate of the consumer, the more they're willing to pay you. It's called service, it's called value. Right, there's DIY, do it yourself. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, do all of these things. There's 
done with you. Hey, I'll help do it with you. I'll help coordinate. I'll help set it up, right? And then it's done for you. I'll just call the vendor. I'll meet the vendor out there. I'll meet the carpet cleaner out there. I'll stage it for you. I'll take care of everything. I know this to be true because of my property management firm. The clients that I want to work with want done for you. They want to be able to travel and not even worry about it. The clients that I don't want to work with at property management are the people that want to like hire me to do the property management, but they also want to do all the repairs on their house. So like when something goes wrong, I got to call them and they got to go over there and do all the different things. That's not my client. I want the client that wants the least amount of friction, the least amount of hassle, the most convenient convenience possible. They pay those most money, they want it simple, and they want you, and that's who you want. So reduce your friction, it's gonna increase your revenue, and it's definitely gonna increase your sales.